All right, here we are for a run and driving video for a 95 F-250 with 147,000 miles. It's a two-owner truck, got all the lights going. You can see they got a nice color, good clarity. You can see how it's running. It's nice and smooth, no exhaust leaks, no motor mount issues. Going. Got our license plate lights working. You see, it's burning nice and clean. So, alright, we're gonna hop in, got it up to temperature. Uh, hopefully, uh, traffic allows us to uh, get up to highway speeds here. But you can see the power windows work, you know, they go up and down quick. Our door locks, blower motor works nice. AC, heater, got the factory stereo, never been messed with, got good clarity, go ahead and turn the heater off, she's getting a little warm, so both fuel tanks work, you know, got different sending units, uh, you got a little under uh, half tank in the rear, the front tank is uh, just above empty, but you can see it's still running, it's got the tack, it's just a little bit above empty there. Turn off the four ways, and you can see the e-brake light works properly. So you got power mirrors too. It's got the small sport mirrors, which I love because they don't rust, they don't look bad, they don't do body damage if you bump into something. Um, so we'll go ahead and get ready to roll here. I got her in four-wheel drive, just so you can see the light works. As you can see right there, it's got automatic hubs, so you can feel it. Um, activate in it, it's a four-wheel drive system, so you just go out of two-wheel drive. Um, so all right here, you see it's a little sunny. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse here for a second and get it completely out of four-wheel drive, but I just want to see how easy it is to activate. If you want to go into four-low, you gotta stop and come and put it in neutral. You know, wipers work, high, low, and then all the different speeds, got about seven speeds. So all right. The steering wheel's in really nice shape. It's got a little bit of wear, but the material's not all pulled back or loose. You can see the hood's got nice shine on it. Nice Oxford white paint, no, no lifting or anything or clear coat issues. You can see it's just real nice and quiet and sound. It's always nice to see a truck that's got the tack. Um, overdrive off, you'll see it uh, lights up properly, it doesn't flash at you or anything. Um, I usually leave the overdrive off if I'm doing city driving, stop and go traffic, anything like that. Um, but it's all it's all preference, you know, some people like to just jump in and go and never mess with that button and that's perfectly fine, but we just like to turn it on so you can see it works right. Um, so we're going to get down the highway here, um, hopefully get up to some decent speeds. And then I'm going to exit off and take you on the back road. It's got a bunch of potholes and uneven patch jobs, so you can kind of get a feel for how sound and solid the truck is. Uh, all new front brakes, um, alignment, you know, fluid changes. Rides really nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the o drive on because we're gonna get on the highway here. Turn the AC on. It's a little cooking a little bit. But it's got nice, you know, being a 200 truck, uh, always in Washington State, no rust. Um, looks good underneath the fender flares. It's just, uh, as mentioned in the other video, it's got a little bit of wear underneath uh, the fender flares where you can't see it in the paint, but uh, um, just from the kind of years of it being there. But uh, no rust or anything. It's a solid Washington truck. So just kind of giving it quarter throttle, up, nice upshift. It's got really nice, you know, consistent upshifts. See the RPM gauge. Hopefully, you can see with the sun. And then there, it's an overdrive. Um, you can manually turn off the overdrive, and it goes up. Hopefully, you guys. I'll go ahead. It sounds really good. It's got that nice, deep, uh, th big block throttle body sound. Brakes really nice and smooth. No pulling or anything like that. This guy up here is going super slow. So hopefully we'll uh, get him a little way there. Got the foot off. 
cruise control is working. You know, it does have larger tires than stock, so um, the speedometer is a little bit off. But you can see it drives nice and straight, you know, no issues. The steering wheel is perfectly straight. Um, so you might want to get that adjusted. Uh, it does have the 410 gear, so it's got plenty of power. Or um, when tires are due for replacement, you can just go down a little bit in size, maybe go to like a 285 or something. Uh, but these ones fill up the wheel well nice. They look killer. I'm going to go ahead and turn off over here. Um, but, uh, you know, some people might not like the bigger tires. I, I love the way it looks. It rides really nice. It's just got a leveling kit. It's not, doesn't have a lift kit. Um, but if you went down the tire size, you'd be fine using the, the weld wheels. So there's a little patch. There's a pawhole hole right up here. There's another little pawhole hole in a patch. You can see it just soaks it up nice. Dash isn't rattling. Door panel's not rattling. Another patch job. Well, the truck's uh, mechanically very well taken care of, as, as is the exterior and the interior. Uh, we've got a couple of S, just tight 90 degree S curves up here. I'll take you in so you can see uh, you know, how nice and tight the, uh, the steering is. It doesn't have any you know, tie rod play or ball joint clunking or popping noise. Um, steer box, steering box is a nice shape. So it's uh, gives you, so you come in here, it's got just like it should, you got nice resistance, you know, in the steering box, it's not a slush box, and you, you know, as soon as it straightens out, it wants to. Uh, return to the center position like it should. You know, if it's all wore out, you turn and then the steering wheel doesn't want to return, so. Another tight corner. We've got another 90 off here to the left and then we'll have another one off to the right hand side. But you can see it's just nice and tight. I mean, it's, uh, I'm not moving the steering wheel back and forth. I'm not searching for that center position. All right, this one's going on no reserve. Uh, super clean, uh, 4x4 XLT with uh, just two owners and 147,000 original miles. So good luck. <laughs>